If someone asked you what the most important sessions were in your training block, what would you say? Intervals? Tempo runs? Long runs? Well, a team of researchers from Dublin actually set out to answer that question and they looked at the training data from about 120,000 runners on Strava and what they actually found was the single biggest factor in marathon performance was the total training volume that people were doing but more specifically, the amount of easy running that these athletes were doing. The best performing runners were logging three to four times more easy mileage than those that were finishing further back in the pack. They weren't necessarily doing more speed sessions or tempo runs or threshold work. They were just consistently running more. And when they were running more, they were running those runs really easy. This is a really important point to remember, especially for those of you that are newer to running. It's not about smashing every single session, okay? So the real gains actually come from the work that doesn't always feel really hard. It's just about building volume, keeping it relatively easy, and being really consistent with it. It also shows that easy running isn't something to squeeze in around those important sessions. It is actually the important session. Shift your mindset and actually think about easy runs being a priority in your training week. Don't just treat them like a filler. Treat them like they're actually the foundation. Know your pacing, so don't go too fast. Stay relaxed and enjoy the process. I actually like to stay in zone two, maybe the bottom of zone three when I'm doing my easy runs. And I like to feel like they're really nice and flowy. Double days is another really practical way that you can add easy runs into your training week without impacting your harder sessions. So you can actually split your runs up and do five, six, seven kilometers in the morning and do the same again in the afternoon. And that really does help you train up and increase your mileage without really overloading yourself in any single session. Even on your key workouts, make sure that you're getting at least 20 minutes of warm up in and getting that cool down in. So overall, the quantity of mileage that you're getting in that session is increased. Don't cut it short because it all does really add up. Increasing easy mileage too quickly is one of the fastest ways that you could get injured. And just follow that 10% rule and build back up gradually if you've had some time off. As always, if you have any questions, guys, just drop us a comment and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as we can. But until next time, get out there and consistently run.